Hello everyone, and welcome back to Daily Military Channel, B-Roll, Assault Amphibian School conducts instructor training, U.S. Marines with Assault Amphibian School drive amphibious combat vehicles in Del Mar Boat Basin on Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California, May 17, 2023. The Marines conducted the training as part of a new curriculum being developed by the Amphibious Combat Vehicle Transition Training Unit, which is composed of a cadre of experienced assault amphibian Marines working to create a standardized program to certify Marines to operate and maintain ACVs. As part of a Headquarters Marine Corps initiative, once operational, the ACVTTU will certify ACV crew members, vehicle commanders, maintainers, and unit leadership on the safe operation, maintenance, supervision, and employment of the ACV. B-Roll, Assault Amphibian School trains Marines to become instructors, U.S. Marines with Assault Amphibian School drive amphibious combat vehicles off the coast of Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California. May 18, 2023. The Marines conducted the training as part of a new curriculum being developed by the Amphibious Combat Vehicle Transition Training Unit, which is composed of a cadre of experienced assault amphibian Marines working to create a standardized program to certify Marines to operate and maintain ACVs. As part of a Headquarters Marine Corps initiative, once operational, the ACVTTU will certify ACV crew members, vehicle commanders, maintainers, and unit leadership on the safe operation, maintenance, supervision, and employment of the ACV. Macon Island Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, Operations, U.S. Marines assigned to the 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division, Enter and disembark the well deck of amphibious assault ship USS Macon Island, LHD-8, during waterborne training in the Pacific Ocean, April 10. The two-day waterborne training evolution focused on safety and transport capabilities for both the Navy and Marine Corps and is part of a larger training plan to refine tactics and doctrine for amphibious operations. Macon Island is a WASP-class amphibious assault ship currently underway conducting routine operations in U.S. 3rd Fleet. Macon Island Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, Operations, U.S. Marines assigned to the 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division, enter and disembark the well deck of amphibious assault ship USS Macon Island, LHD-8 during waterborne training in the Pacific Ocean, April 10. The two-day waterborne training evolution focused on safety and transport capabilities for both the Navy and Marine Corps and is part of a larger training plan to refine tactics and doctrine for amphibious operations. Macon Island is a WASP-class amphibious assault ship currently underway conducting routine operations in U.S. 3rd Fleet. Amphibious Assault Vehicle 2022, Iron Fist 2022, 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion Marines, Japan Ground Self-Defense Force Soldiers conduct bilateral amphibious assault, U.S. Marines embarked in amphibious combat vehicles assigned to 1st Platoon, Charlie Company, 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division, and Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF. Soldiers embarked in assault amphibious vehicles assigned to 2nd Amphibious Rapid Deployment Regiment execute bilateral amphibious assault. Training during exercise Iron Fist 2022 at White Beach, Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California, February 1, 2022. For almost two decades, the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, and JGSDF have conducted exercise Iron Fist, training together in amphibious operations and affirming the U.S. commitment to our allies. The Assault Amphibious Vehicle AAV, official designation AAVP-7A1, formerly known as Landing Vehicle, Tracked, 
Personnel, 7 abbreviation LVTP-7, is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle manufactured by U.S. Combat Systems, previously by United Defense, a former division of FMC Corporation. B-Roll, Marines practice ship to shore with USS Harper's Ferry for Steel Knight, U.S. Marines with 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion, 1st Marine Division, conduct ship-to-shore training with the USS Harper's Ferry, LSD-49, with amphibious combat vehicles as part of Steel Knight 23 at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California, November 28, 2022. The battalion boarded the ship in preparation for ship-to-shore movements throughout the duration of the exercise. ACVs are currently authorized to conduct waterborne operations in open and protected waters, while surf zone transit testing is ongoing. Steel Knight is an annual combined arms live fire exercise that ensures first MARDIF is optimized for naval expeditionary warfare in contested spaces and is purpose built to facilitate future operations afloat and ashore. AAV Return to Water Operations B-Roll, U.S. Marines with Company B, 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion currently assigned to 4th Marines, 3D Marine Division conduct waterborne operations with amphibious assault vehicles at Camp Schwab, Okinawa, Japan, May 24, 2022. The demanding training package strengthened the capacity to conduct amphibious operations in the Pacific with the reintegration of rugged, tactical ship-to-shore connectors, effectively returning an important capability to three Marine Expeditionary Force. The AAV P7-A1 is the current amphibious troop transport of the United States Marine Corps. It is used by U.S. Marine Corps amphibious assault battalions to land the surface assault elements of the landing force and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives and to conduct mechanized operations and related combat support in subsequent mechanized operations ashore. It is also operated by other forces. Marines call them Amtraks, a shortening of their original designation, Amphibious Tractor, in June 2018, the Marine Corps announced they had selected the BAE Systems slash Iveco Wheeled Super AV for the Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, program to supplement and ultimately replace the AAV. AAV Return to Water Operations B-Roll, U.S. Marines with Company B, 3D Assault Amphibian Battalion currently assigned to 4th Marines, 3D Marine Division conduct waterborne operations with amphibious assault vehicles at Camp Schwab, Okinawa, Japan, May 21, 2022. The demanding training package strengthened the capacity to conduct amphibious operations in the Pacific with the reintegration of rugged, tactical ship-to-shore connectors, effectively returning an important capability to three Marine Expeditionary Force. Development, a pair of U.S. Marine Corps assault amphibious vehicles emerge from the surf onto the sand of Freshwater Beach, Australia. The one on the left has an applique armor kit installed, the one on the right does not, Marines exit from a U.S. assault amphibious vehicle during a live-fire exercise in Djibouti, Africa. In 2010, the U.S. Marine Corps became interested in replacing the LVTP-5 due to its limited range, slow water speed and the difficulty of maintaining the aging platform. In 1964, the Marine Corps solicited proposals to replace meet its requirement. The Marine Corps selected a proposal by FMC. FMC delivered the first of 15 prototypes, designated LVTPX-12, in October 1967. Marine Corps testing concluded in September 1969. In June 1970, the Marine Corps awarded FMC a $78.5 million contract for the production of 942 vehicles. B-Roll of Night Multinational Amphibious Vehicle Staging During Exercise Talisman Sabre 21, U.S. Marines with 5th Air Naval Gun Fire Liaison Company, 
3 Marine Expeditionary Force Headquarters Group, 3 MEF, and Australian Defence Force members stage amphibious assault vehicles in preparation for a simulated beach assault of Kings Beach July 23rd in Bowen, Queensland, Australia, during Exercise Talisman Sabre 21. TS-21 is Australia's largest military exercise with the US and is a demonstration of the strong alliance underpinned by deep levels of cooperation and trust built over decades of operating and training together.